Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is another way to put numbers around the clock face using the blend tool and make it accurate. So I'm gonna, I've got these already broken apart with Control K, I just typed them out. I'm gonna hold down the Shift key and I'm gonna double select my rectangle tool and I'll put a rectangle around that. I'm gonna grab the rectangle, I'm gonna hit, well, I actually grab the 12. Grab the rectangle and hit P. Then I'm gonna select them both now I'm gonna hit T like in Tom for top. I'm gonna to change my nudge distance to 0.25 and I'm gonna nudge it down probably twice. Now I've got a 12 inch circle. I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate and I'm gonna bring it into a 10 inch circle. That put it pretty much in the center of my box. Now I'm gonna take my box and just move it out of the way Control D and make a duplicate. You don't really have to do this, but I like them equal, so I'm gonna hit T, put them, basically it equals them. I'm gonna go up to effects, blend. I'm gonna blend just 10 times because we already got to. Now I'm gonna check off that, and I'm gonna take my new circle. Let me zoom in here a little bit. I'm gonna take my new circle, and I'm gonna go right here to an arc and I'm gonna make it just 330 degrees. Now, I know it's 240 degrees, but if you rotate, whoop, double click on it and rotate that corner, get it close to 240. Well, we actually need to go to 240, so it'll be on the other side. And by doing that, you can just put in indexing lines and know when you're stopping. Now take your blend, and go right here to blend a new path. And then click here, blend along full path. And that puts your numbers exactly where they should be. Select it all. Break the five objects apart. Get rid of your circle. Still select it all. Go up to object and ungroup. And then just kind of check to make sure you're ungrouped. Take the 12. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Let me take all my numbers, put them a little closer. Take our 12, holding down the shift key, select that box and go CE, which is right here. And you can do it CE, you can do it EC, it does not matter what order you put it in. Let's do the nine, holding down the shift, EC. Let's take the three, holding down the shift, EC. Take the six, holding down the shift, EC. I'm gonna go ahead and do them all real quick, um, just so you'll kind of get the idea of what it would look like. Let me move these closer to the screen so you can see them. And all I did was type out the numbers and then hit Control K. So. Holding down the shift, EC. Holding down the shift, EC. Holding down the shift, CE this time. It doesn't matter which order you put it in. Holding down the shift. I didn't hit the five. EC, the seven. Holding down the shift, CE. Eight, holding down the shift, EC. 10, holding down the shift, EC, the 11, holding down the shift, EC. Now, there's a lot of ways to get the number away, but because my objects are treated as field, all I have to do is click inside the box and hit delete. And you could also leave those and have them to be non-printed, but this is more for sure, in case you mess up and, and hit a, um, if you're gonna cut out the outside too. So now your numbers are perfectly arranged. Using the blend tool, just another way to do it. Hope that helped a little bit.